गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ जागरत शर्मा और आज मैं आपको बताने वाला हूँ कि इन दिस इन द साइंस बुक द चैप्टर जो मैं टू मैथ से आती वी कैन से बट इफ यू विल से इट इज़ द न्यूट्रिय सो द कॉम्पोनेंट द मेन कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द फूड इट्स द न्यूट्रिय सो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द न्यूट्रिय वी विल लर्न एवरी थिंग अबाउट द न्यूट्रिय इन दिस वन सो Uh, when we see about the nutrient, nutrient have four parts. First, carbohydrates and fats. Second, proteins. Third, minerals and fourth, vitamins. So these are the four parts of the nutrient. So every food have nutrients. Every food have only one nutrient. If only one or more than one, but every food have one nutrient. so now today we will study what are the nutrients so i the first thing we have to study is this one now we will study the three types of food so the first type of the food is um th- that is the energy giving food so we will write e for the food energy giving food and the next type of food is body building food next type of food is body building food and the third type of food is the protective food so these are the three types of food so now we will see what what is containing the foods so now we talk about the first type of food it's the energy giving food so what comes in it so the thing comes in it is so these are the parts so the f- energy giving food so in the energy giving food there comes the carbohydrates and the second one are the fats so carbohydrates is divided in two parts also and the first is starch and the second one is sugar so sugar sugar is a normal thing and uh, anything which is sweet in taste that is sugar you can remember it like this and starch is actually the real carbohydrate so uh, if you don't want to put carbohydrate here so you can put here starch also so this is the first main part of energy giving foods and the second part is the fats so the fats are also a part of energy giving food so let's talk about this Let's see now what is starch. So starch is actually a thing. Uh, uh, when we take starch, it gives us just energy. You, it is as a, it has a simple definition. It gives us energy. It gives us energy to work, to put force, everything. It gives us energy. So I am giving you some examples also for that. For example. sugar so sugar comes in the category of sugar and it also gives us energy and the wheat wheat we eat uh, gluten and the rice and the corn and potato also we can take and for more example with these are much so these are the things the which comes in the category of starch so let's talk about the how we can check that if anything has starch in it to to check if any food contains starch we have to do some simple steps take some food for example i am taking a potato for example i am taking a potato and i take a some piece a piece a small piece of potato and then take a test tube and then put the piece of the potato in the test tube and after that the, the test tube will have potato in it then pour some water in it and then the potato and water will be mixed after that we have to put two or three drops of iodine solution to it so iodine solution you know which contains iodine so that is a small solution 
so we have to take that then then we have what have we have to do is um then we have to just take this test tube and put it at a corner for a certain some minutes and hours of time uh, certain minutes time then you will then you will check this then it its color will be turned black and the blue is black we can say so that means the food contains starch in it or carbohydrates in it and or if it not turns black that means it don't have starch now let's talk about the fats so when i turn it to fats what are fats so fats are actually a thing so fats is the same as starch starch equals to fats but that equals to which i put is wrong because the starch gives us energy also and and the type of it gives us energy and or they do, don't do anything uh, which decreases the energy of a body or or do anything bad to a body but when we talk about fats it gives us the double or triple energy from the um, then the starch but fats can cause obesity as its name is saying that it's fats it can cause obesity also high blood pressure then it can do many hundreds of diseases because of the fatty fatty stomach so fats uh, gives some disadvantage to us also but it gives the double and triple energy of this starch so now let's talk about the fats fats some examples of fats let's see some examples of fats so some examples of fats are like butter and ghee and and we can say the sunflower oil the til oil and many oils are there the nuts all the dry fruits or and the bad things also like like a thing with maida for example pizza burger and all other things with maida is all contains fats in it so uh, these are the some examples of fat it is the same like carbohydrates only now let's talk about how to check if anything contains fats in it the test so what we have to do to check this is take a a small normal paper and then put anything fat thing which contains fat in it for example i take a almond because that's a nut it contains fat then uh, i put it on the paper and then wrap the paper and then crush it a bit and then after when i will see from the paper it it is a bit translucent so that's mean uh, almonds contains fats so this this was today's talk now in the next in the next video we will talk about the second part of the food and that is the bodybuilding food so this was the first part we will talk about the second part in the next video bye bye for now